Okay guys, we are talking about the secretions of our digestive system and we have talked about the secretion that is that we can found, find in our mouth like saliva. Now let's talk about the secretions in our stomach because that's another very important part and a lot of secretions are going on in stomach. So we'll be talking about secretion in stomach and whenever we are talking about secretion in stomach we are talking about acids. Remember, that's the unique feature of stomach because it secretes some acids. Okay. Now, before going into the detail, this video is going to be the overview of stomach secretions because it's a lot of things that I'm going to talk about stomach secretions. And future video, I'll be talking about the different secretory molecules and their functions. Okay. So, in this video, we'll be talking about just what are the materials that are secreted and from where they are secreted. So, if we, if we, uh, so let me draw stomach here first of all. That that will be good. So let's say if this is the stomach, if this is the structure of the stomach, it's not actually occurs this way, but still, anyways, if this is the structure of stomach, and you can divide the stomach in two different but this this is the section, this is called the body, this is called the pyloric region, body section and pyloric section of the stomach. And this is the duodenum region and this is the esophageal region, the connecting region uh, in between part. Okay, so the this is connected in both the way in this direction as well as in this direction. Okay, now the secretions that we can get from stomach and we have three different types because three types of cells are present in stomach. Remember in, in secretions, if we talk about the generalized secretions in biological terms, we know that there are secretions of parakine secretions, autocrine secretions and endocrine secretions. Now in this case, we can find all of this example at the same time. So we know uh, we are having three different. So let me write. We are having an uh, autocrine secretions. We are having paracrine secretions. And we are also having, sorry, sorry, this is, should be endocrine, okay. Endocrine secretion, okay. Autocrine, paracrine, and endocrine. Uh, not actually autocrine here, sorry. It should be exocrine. Actually, in this case, we don't get any autocrine. We get exocrine secretion. So, exocrine, paracrine, and endocrine. Three types of secretion can be found. In the exocrine type, that means the secretion is occurring directly outside so the secretion is just cells are there they are secreting it directly outside just like that paracrine signaling mills again they are secreting some kind of molecules uh, regularly regionally endocrine secretion means they are secreting some something this is a hormonal signal definitely endocrine means it's a hormonal signal we'll be seeing that hormones are also secreted by uh, these cells so the exocrine signaling that we are getting from here is gastric juice gastric juice. Uh, paracrine signaling is by the paracrine cells that are present in the stomach and the secretion that we get in this case is histamine and this secretion is mediated by different paracrine cells. Endocrine sign signaling is brought about by endocrine cells which is called the G cells by G cells and the signaling molecule here is gastrin. Gastrin, this is a hormone, right? This is a hormone, gastrin, that is being secreted. The function of all of this we will be studying later. But these are the major secretory molecules that are being secreted through the stomach. Now this endocrine, exocrine signal like gastric juice is secreted all over, all over the region. So actually the gastric juice secretion all over the stomach, body and as, as well as pyloric region. Histom histamine secretion occurs uh, usually uh, throughout, the, throughout the region. And the endocrine signaling uh, region sections are also being occurred, especially this pyloric region. The secretion occurs in this pyloric region. Okay, so this is distant towards this pyloric section. Rest of them are uh, secreted from all of the places. Now, in the exocrine, we're talking about the gastric juice, right? So let's talk about it. Let's zoom out the gastric juice a little bit. So when you talk about gastric juice, uh, we know that gastric juice are containing several sections, actually three major things. One is the gastric juice composition is HCl or hydrochloric acid. Second one, it, it is consisting of mucus. And third thing, it is consisting of, uh, of an enzyme, right? So the enzyme is called pepsinogen. So, uh, pepsinogen. So this is 
the construction of major gastric juice and also it contains another molecule that is called intrinsic factor or IF we will be looking the function later but these are the major materials for a gastric juice that is HCl or hydrochloric acid mucus it is required because as uh, the HCl is acidic it, it can cause harm to the wall of stomach to prevent that harm the, again the same uh, concept that mucus kind of uh, coat the whole uh, wall of stomach so that the gastric juice cannot make any harm and uh, pepsinogen is a precursor molecule for the enzyme pepsin because this gen means they are precursor molecules we need to cleave that in specific regions to produce active pepsin uh, enzymes okay so that's the thing and in paracrine and uh, histamine is a signaling molecule remember if you if you remember recall your immunology lessons you can find that histamine is uh, a molecule that is responsible for hypersensitive reactions so there are also some chemical mediators and chemical signaling molecule between cells endocrine like gastrin is also hormone it's again a signaling molecule so these are the signaling molecules and these are the act activator or effective molecules in stomach now from where these gastric juices are secreted right the gastric juices are secreted from specialized cell present in the wall of the stomach and actually the stomach wall is kind of curved and there are many gastric pit is there so if I look at the wall of stomach what how will look like if I just look a cross section of that so if I look at uh, so if I look at the stomach we can look at this this kind of small hole like things and they are kind of deep inside so these are called the pit or gastric pit gastric pit now if I zoom into the structure of a gastric pit how it will look like it will look something like this so it will just go like that and there are lining of cells different type of cells are there so we are looking at this uh, pit from this angle that's so we can see this kind of deep uh, regions so this is the pit this is called gastric pit and in this gastric pit they are made up with several cells that are present and there's some specialized cells are secreting special molecules here special uh, ingredients here like some of them are producing this HCl uh, and some of them producing mucus mucus cells are producing mucus from suppose in this case uh, mucus cells secrete mucus from this region okay there are cells like uh, like say uh, parietal cells are there other cells like chief cells are there so these are the okay so parietal cells secretes HCl from this particular section they secrete HCl as well as intrinsic factor mucous cells secrete mucus chief cells secreting pepsinogen and there are other cells that are present in this this part those other cells that are present uh, uh, paracrine cells suppose for example if there are other cells like say paracrine cells or intrinsic paracrine cells or extrinsic so this paracrine cells kind of secrete this histamine molecules right histamine molecules there so these are the cells they are arranged in this gastric pit in, in a particular orientation and they try to secrete all those mediators or molecules which will be required for the later stages of uh, which will be required during the digestion process okay so that's kind of secretions that are coming from stomach and all of the secretions are kind of are coming from different section except for this G except for the gastrin hormone which is being secreted by the G cells present in this pyloric section and what are the functions of, of all of them we'll be learning it later okay so that's kind of it thank you